brilliant start on the inside from Vas uh, Martin Vasilik. He fires himself to the floor. First corner around the outside comes Just Freddie Lingren. Improvement from him. Can he make his way past Martin Vasilik with Leon Madsen? Back in third place. Keep your eyes on Lingren. Lingren's working hard, but the door is slammed shut by Vasilik. Yeah, it's being made, his job is being made so much harder by Madsen on the inside. Every time he leaves a big hole, Madsen's looking to ride through it, and he certainly never needs a second invitation. So Freddie Lingren really got his work cut out. I think he should really, at this point now, be settling for a second place. Two big points for him in the context of uh, a last place in his first ride, but Madsen will keep plugging away. Martin Vasilik, though, he loves this place. He uh, had a strong ride with Bartosz Marsling in heat number four, and here in heat number five is out in front off the inside gate, looking good. And, uh, these conditions are clearly suiting him. Freddie Lingren, this is an improvement and much needed as well with Leon Madsen back in third, but Vasilik, effectively his home Grand Prix, he'll be delighted with that. Back-to-back -back heats, and he comes away with... Here we go then, heat number 12. Can Holder do it from the outside? Martin Vashlik, wow, what a start. Absolutely powered into the first corner. It's Kovec coming through the first turn into second place. Holder trying to slip around the outside, but the door was slammed shut. Holder now squaring the corner off, coming out of turn four. Is he there? Yes, he is. Nice ride from Jack Holder to come through into second place. Kubera's out the back, but Martin Vashlik going great guns in front again. Martin Vashlik's really got the bike pulling hard. A couple of mistakes, which if he makes another one, he's going to open the door for Jack Holder, who was uh, a little bit circumspect on the first turn, didn't really, wasn't decisive enough on the first turn, but he's uh, certainly sorted it out now, and uh, certainly Martin Vashlik at the front can't afford to make a mistake. Martin Vasilik's bike is your right. It's putting, it's a bit of an animal to ride. Holders there lurking in second place. They've made a few tweaks to the bike, squaring it off, Comes. coming down the back straight for the final time. This time Vasilik's just about got it covered. He's winding it on, had to ride a touch defensively, but Vasilik holds on. Strong ride from Holder, the best ride from him so far this evening. Needed it, could have done with three points, but has to settle for two. Martin Vasilik's bike is just jet propelled. Absolutely fabulous stuff from him. You keep doing that all night, you're going to win. Because that was just almost an unfair advantage. Just flew away from the tapes. Robert Lambert now chasing hard in second place. But for Martin Vasilik, well, he's got his trapping hand on tonight. Certainly has. He's dropped just the one point and he's making exceptional starts. He almost caught himself out there. Lambert definitely has the speed, I tell you what. If he leaves a big enough hole, he'll be up the inside. But Martin Vashlik, once he gets that back wheel in the dirt, by pulling his arms out, we saw in his previous race, actually quite difficult to ride. Whether they've just trimmed it back a little bit, I don't know. But he looks a little bit more comfortable here. But uh, Robert Lambert, got plenty of speed behind him. Lambert looking, oh, Martin Vashlik's riding. Oh, that's a hard bike to ride. I can guarantee you he's having to hang on to that. Big star, look at him go again. Look at this, look how far in front of Wozniak they are. They're a country mile away here. Yeah, way quicker. They are so much quicker. They're in a different stratosphere. Martin Vasilik, winner consecutive years, 2022 and 23 belong to him. A special place in his heart that has uh, the Marquetta. Tapes up and we're away. Muley's away nicely, but it's Frick again. Frick, brilliant the first turn. Here comes Vasilik around the outside. Mickelson's there as well. Oh, it's tied down the back straight. No racing room at all. Frick's out in front. Martin Vasilik, look there at him comes. coming on. There oh, comes. what a move from Martin Vasilik. He won't be denied tonight. He loves the Marquetta. I tell you what, doesn't he just? He's going to go into the semi-finals as top scorer, I'm sure. But uh, Max Frick, another. He didn't actually make the start bite, didn't react at all when he dropped the clutch, but he just worked it all the way to the corner. Really did make a good job of getting it into the first turn. But look at the speed that Martin Vashik now he's got himself in front, just going away from the field. He's out of gate number three as well. Brave, brave move coming out of turn four in the opening lap to get the better of Frick. Frick's comfortable in second place, Bewley back in third. Not good news for Mickelson, this. Not good news at all, failing to score here. Could be quite problematic for him. He's on eight points, it might still be enough, but for Martin Vashlik, 14 out of 15, get in. Winner for the last two years. Looking like he's gonna make it a hat-trick. Tapes are up, 
Martin Vasilik, what oh. a start from him. Sensational bike through the first corner. Kubera around the outside of Lambert. What a move from the Polish man. He's going great guns in second place. But that man out in front, Martin Vasilik, only dropped a point coming into the semi-finals. Superb out of gate number two. Now Martin Vasilik launched off the start. Yeah, again, Kubera actually had to be conservative down the back straight on the first lap. Put the brakes on at the end of the straight. He'd generated a lot of speed, but the race settling down now. I'll tell you what, Lambert's the biggest loser here because he could have really moved himself uh, within a few points of Smarzlik. Indeed, and inexplicably, Lambert is off the pace, having shown great pace throughout the evenings. He's tailed off in third place. He's going to miss out on the final here this evening. Martin Vasilik and Kubera looking good. Less than a lap to go for these two. Kubera's looking good in second place. He's cruising. He's cruising in second place. But for Martin Vasilik, this is going to be win number five on the evening. Through to the final again, looking for a hat-trick to win in the Marquetta Stadium. Tapes up, and we're away. Martin Vasilik's made a smashing start. Yes, he's got there. But Barton Smarzlik's in traffic. He's trying to get up the inside. It's tight. He's it. Oh, he's got himself in the second place. He had to hustle that. Kubera didn't want to get out of the way, but Barton Smarzlik was desperate to get there. But Martin Vasilik. Can he make it a hat-trick? Uh, he's riding superbly. He certainly deserves it. Lingren now putting Smarzik under pressure. We've said all night, Smarzik not really fast on the bike tonight, but I'll tell you what, Martin Vasilik looking every bit the winner there. Bike working for Smarzik just doesn't have the pace that Martin Vasilik's got out from. Freddie Lingren looking very threatening, coming round the outside of Bartos Smarzik. Oh, he's done him down the back straight. What a moment for Freddie Lingren. As you rightly say, Smarzlik hasn't got the speed. He's relegated back to third place, but out in front. This is going to be extra special now. Martin Vasilik, oh, it's tied for second and third. But Martin Vasilik, through the final corner, a hat-trick of wins in the Marquetta. He's going to be absolutely overjoyed with that. What a performance in the last three years here for Martin Vasilik. Back to top form. He won here last year. He won in the Principality as well in Cardiff. And Martin Vasilik wins in 2024 in the Marquetta Stadium. Fantastic.